The quick hitch system is a helpful accessory for BCS owners who own multiple attachments and need to swap them out frequently. But how does one switch between attachments when the quick hitch pieces are not in place? Well, it's a simple procedure, and the only tool required is a 19mm wrench. To mount an attachment, it is best, whenever possible, to begin by positioning your handlebars in rear mount mode. This provides much better visibility when aligning the two PTO studs on the tractor with the two holes in your attachment flange, and standing behind the attachment will enable you to use your foot to steady the implement. Before backing the tractor into the attachment, compare the three-jaw coupler on the tractor's PTO shaft with the one on the attachment. These two couplers must interlock as you mount the attachment. If it does not appear that the jaws of the tractor coupler will match with the gaps between the jaws of the attachment coupler, disengage the tractor's PTO and adjust the tractor coupler to achieve the right position. In the case of some attachments, you may find it helpful to use blocking so that the height of the attachment's connection point approximates, but is not higher than, that of the tractor's. Now slowly freewheel the tractor backwards into the attachment until the two PTO studs pass through the holes in the attachment flange. Do this carefully in order to minimize the likelihood of damaging the threads of the two studs. Once the flange of the attachment is in contact with the tractor housing, you're ready to install the PTO washers and nuts. To prevent the nuts from coming loose, it is imperative that you make sure that the domed portion of each lock washer is facing outward. Using your 19mm wrench, tighten the nuts firmly to roughly 60 foot-pounds and check them periodically especially after the first 15 minutes of operation. To remove an attachment, again the first step is to rotate the handlebars to rear mount mode, even if it's a front mount attachment. In the case of some attachments, you may find it helpful to use blocking so that the PTO studs are somewhat parallel to the ground. Remove the PTO nuts and washers. Now slowly freewheel your tractor forward, remembering that once the studs are completely free from the attachment, you will need to push down on the handlebars to prevent the engine from hitting the floor. One final note, the threads of the studs are wearing items that periodically need to be replaced. For how-to instructions on replacing these studs, check out our next video detailing that process. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel for more. Also, please know that we welcome your feedback and questions. To contact us about the content of this video, please call 1-800-543-1040 or email info at bcsamerica.com. Thank you.